Chapter 1 The Living World Adaptations and Classification Let's recall In what different ways is the diversity in living things seen? The diversity in living things can be seen on basis of their shapes, size, habitat, etc. A great variety of plants is found on the earth. Some plants have colorful flowers. Some plants grow in water. On the earth we can see lots of diversity in the plants as well as in the animal. Diversity means what? Different different plant species different different animal places species we can see into the surrounding of our area as well as whole earth whereas some are to be found in deserts which have a scarcity of water desert means what dry area scarcity of water is there some plants are found only in snowy regions some plants cannot be seen without a microscope, whereas some are huge in size. Like plants, animals too show diversity. Some are unicellular, others multicellular. Some are vertebrates, whereas others are invertebrates. Backbone present, backbone absent. Means animals having backbone. Invertebrates means backbone -less. animals not having backbone. This world is full of a variety of animals. Some are aquatic, water living. Terrestrial. Some are terrestrial, land living. Amphibian, water and Terrestrial. land living. And reptiles. Aerial, and aerial. They are flight in the sky. This give rise to the question, how did this great diversity come to being? Tell. Are the plants and animals from Kashmir and Rajasthan of the same type? No, no because they are not climate the is different. Type. Can you elaborate on any differences between the two? Let's do that. Oh. One, animals in Kashmir. All the animals living in cold regions have long and thick fur on their bodies. This is a yak protect them from severe cold. For example, yak and bear. White bear. Two, animals in Rajasthan. That is a camel. In desert regions, there is cactus. scarcity of water. This is a cactus Hence, plant. To prevent the loss of water from the body, the animals of these regions have thick skin, long legs, large, white feet, closed nostrils, Long and thick eyelashes. Because for easily they can survive into the camel. dry area. Clouds in Kashmir. They are conical shaped due to which the snow does not because really accumulate. Snowfall always is there. They have thick bark and easily snow slip cold. down into for this example, area. Pine. That's why they are the conical forest. Spur. Spruce, These are the name of plants. Deodar, etc. Four plants in Rajasthan. Rajasthan only spicy. These plants do not bear leaves. Except plants are present there. Corn present. Kate wale. These are the thorns. The is fleshy and green. This is open shea plant. It has waxy coating on its. So, Flower is converted, uh, uh, leaf is converted is into in the stem as well as horns. The roots of these plants go deep into the soil in search of water. For example, cactus, baboon tree. Adaptation. Gradual changes occur in the body parts and also in the behavior of organisms them to adjust to their adaptation means what the plant adjusts that climate adaptations and for that adjusting to that climate animal did some changes that is a hump on the back of the camel the and complete the chart include 
grow to other plants from your own region too. We have plants, their habitats, types of root, characteristics of leaves and characteristics of stem. So different plants lotus found in a different is area. Is aquatic. Lotus is aquatic. Is fibrous. Fibrous it type of roots leaves and leaves is with vaccine cover. That's why they cannot cactus. decompose in the water. The of cactus is desert. It has tap root. Leaves are modified into thorns and the stem is green and fleshy. Banyan. This is a banyan tree. Terrestrial Taproot root system pageant leaf has evergreen forest evergreen tree this is support this is aerial root and tap root also adaptation in aquatic plants visit various water bodies such as a river brook pond lake in your surroundings. What differences do you observe between terrestrial and aquatic plants? Some of the aquatic plants are firmly rooted in the soil at the bottom of the water bodies. Their stems are submerged while leaves and flowers float on the surface. However, some plants are entirely afloat. Their roots are not anchored in the soil. Anchor means to penetrate. Under the surface Gusineva of Tijar. leaves and stems of many aquatic plants are covered with a waxy layer. Wax presentrate on the surface of the leaf. And slender. This is Nothing aquatic leaf. plant. This shade helps them to withstand fast currents of water. Air spaces and stems and petioles of aquatic plants are useful for floating in water. Inside the stem, air spaces are present into these plants and that's why they are not decomposed Use easily. Use brain power. 1. Why does water trickle off lotus leaves? Answer. The surfaces of lotus leaves are covered with a waxy layer. Hence, the water trickles off its leaves. Two, why don't the leaves of these plants rot in water? Answer, as the surface of leaves of aquatic plants have waxy coating, these plants do not rot in water. Three, why are their roots short and fibrous? Answer, many plants growing in aquatic habitats do not possess roots because there is little requirement for absorption of water and mineral salts. But few other aquatic plants develop short and fibrous roots only for balancing and fixation. Adaptation in desert plants. So in the desert area different types of plants are present. These are the cactus. And the other a leafy plant. Plastic bags loosely around the leaves of these plants and keep them in sunlight from early in the morning. In the afternoon, bring those pots into the classroom and observe them. Now see the water vaporization. See the quantity of water collected in both. Very bags. less water vaporization is there. No, both the bags do not show same quantity of water. Desert plants are either leafless. Or the leaves are like small needles or have been modified into thorns. As a result, those lose very little water by evaporation. The stem stores water and food and is therefore fleshy. Fleshy means what? The stems are green as they perform More mucus is there. The More flesh is there. These roots penetrate deep into the soil in search of water. There is a thick layer of a waxy substance on the stems of these plants too. Adaptation in plants of snowy regions. This is a snow area, snow falling region. 
in what way are sloping branches the plants are coniferous type of plant like a cone cone type of plant plants of snowy regions because always snowfall is there and if snowfall on the plant easily that snow slipped down because the slope slope is the conical slope snowfall and extreme cold in these regions the conical shape prevents the snow from accumulating this is a coniferous forest and the thick bark helps the tree to withstand the cold on into the heavy snowfall region area like a kashmir plants a forest region A variety of plants, trees, shrubs, and herbs are found in forests. Tree means what? These More than two feet. Shrub means what? Two to five feet. Two to five meter and herbs. Less than one meter. And climbers and vines grow to a great height with the support of trees. Spring-like tendrils on the stems of some climbers. Tendril means what? Spring-like portion always comes on the climbers. for support adaptation in grassland plants diverse types of bushes and grasses are found in the grasslands bushes means what the height is not more than 2 meter and grasses height is not more than 1 meter natural region are very tall animals like tiger elephants and deer can remain hidden in these grasses but in uh, However, that uh, grasses in cold regions are very short animals like the rabbit are found in such grasses vast meadows are found in hilly areas as well as plains meadows means piece of grassland for the cow and other animals we can grab club uh, roar here they play you can eat observe and note down the adaptations in the parts of plants like potato groundnut yam water hyacinth aloe acacia carrot onion beet bitter gourd grape vine etc and other plants in your surroundings plant adaptation to different plant found in a different area because depend upon the condition of atmosphere and land adaptations are modified stem to store food to brown nut adaptation underground fruit three water hyacinth adaptation this is a plant aquatic plant stem for floating in water because air bags are present underground to root modified root to store food five bitter gourd grape vine adaptation modified stem for support six aloe acacia adaptation leaves modified into thorns to reduce loss of water This is adaptation. adaptation. The plants did that. That's why they are survive in that area. Most of the plants are anchored in the ground and are autotrophic. How autotrophic means what? They prepare their own food material. Cascuta, a parasitic. Cascuta is a parasite. Depend on the other plants. Consists of yellow, wire-like stems. But cascuta is a plant. It is leafless and cannot perform photosynthesis. However, it has hostorial, that is. sucking roots for absorbing nutrients from the host plant direct sucking the roots nutritious roots material up to the conduct and sucking plant is the cascuta to absorb water that is a host plant fungi do not have chlorophyll and cannot perform photosynthesis they absorb food from starchy food stuffs like bhakri and bread fungus this is a fungus like fungus also belongs into plant but not take part plants into the photosynthesis phosphorus and potassium for growth plants that grow in soil which is deficient in nitrogen like drosera that is sundew venus flytrap pitcher plant etc 
These are the in insectivorous plants. They eat plants insects. Which serve to attract insects. Teacher plant, venus plant, and drosera. The internet. Collect information about plant adaptations from websites like www.mbgnet.net. Adaptation in animals. Make a list of animals in your surroundings. Compare the diversity of animals listed by your friends with your list. Discuss the habitats, food habits, characteristics of body structures like vertebral column, wings, gills, tails, etc. and prepare a chart. What differences do you see between terrestrial and aquatic animals? Terrestrial animals means what? Land living. Animals, aquatic means what? Water living. And body shape of aquatic animals appear to have undergone changes. Lots of changes Fishes in between these two animals. Skin and fins on the body. Their body tapers towards both its ends like a spindle. For swimming, these are the gill slits for the respiration. Have transparent eyelids. They have air bladders within the body to help them to float. Observe and discuss. Observe the bodies of the frog, duck, and tortoise. One. Of what use are their legs to these animals? Answer. The legs of frog and duck have their toes which are used like oars to swim in water. 2. What helps frogs to breathe underwater? Skin. Answer. Respiration through skin helps frogs to breathe underwater. 3. Of what use are the long hind legs of a frog? Jump. Answer. The long hind legs of a frog help them to jump high and swim in water. 4. Why doesn't a duck get wet in water? Answer. Duck has waxy feathers due to which it doesn't get wet in water. Adaptation in amphibian animal. As the frog and duck have webbed toes, they can use their legs like oars. Water flows off the waxy feathers of birds like duck and water hen. Webbed toes, slippery smooth skin and a triangular head helps frogs to swim easily through water. They can live on land as well as in water due to their ability to breathe through the skin in water and using the nose and lungs on land. The typical colors on a frog's back help it to hide among grasses. Make a list of the names of some other amphibians you know and study their adaptations. Adaptation in forest and grassland animals. Carnivorous animals like the wild dog. Carnivorous means what? The animals can eat to other animals. They get food from the animals only. Called as a carnivorous. And capture their prey. They have claws and their canine teeth are sharp and pointed. What is the function of such teeth? To fear the body. To cut flesh of animals. Tigers have padded paws. This enables them to silently stalk their prey and capture it easily. The eyes of predatory carnivores are located in the front of their head. It helps them to spot their prey from a long distance. The eyes of herbivores are below the forehead on either side of the head. This gives them wide-angle vision 
which helps to protect them from predators. Their legs are long and tapering with strong hooves which enables them to run fast taking long leaps. Their long and freely moving ears can receive sounds from long distances and different directions. Deer and gut bugs have colors that merge with their surroundings. Their teeth are strong for chewing tough plant material. Adaptation in desert animals. Deserts are characterized by severe scarcity of water. Means water is less there in the desert area. Have a thick skin to prevent loss of water from the body. Their legs are long with flat and cushioned soles. The nostrils are protected by folds of skin. The eyelashes are long and thick. Rats, snakes, spiders, lizards in deserts live in deep burrows during daytime and are active at night. So these are the nocturnal animals. Adaptation in animals of snowy regions. From the internet, download images of animals like yak, polar bear, white fox, silver fox, mountain goat, Siberian husky dog, and snow leopard. Compare these images with those of similar animals from tropical forests. These are the furry animals. A white always found into the color, snow region. Long, thick hair on the skin are typical characteristics of animals of snowy region. How are these useful to them? Body covered with long, thick hair helps snowy animals to protect themselves from severe cold. Adaptation in aerial animals. Can you tell? What is the main difference between vehicles on the road and aeroplanes? The vehicles running on road do not have tapering ends, whereas aeroplanes have tapering ends. The spindle-shaped body of birds also minimizes the resistance of air while flying. With hollow bones, a body covering of feathers and modification of four legs into wings, their body is light in weight and adapted for flying. The body of insects also is light in weight and tapers at both ends. They can fly with two pairs of wings and also walk with six stick-like legs. Bats can fly with the help of the patagium, a thin fold of skin between their forelegs and hind legs. Observe the various birds and insects in your area. So this is a crew, parrots and different birds found in our area. In reptiles. So the reptile means what? They only how snakes and earthworms creep. Which organs do they creeping. use for creeping? Are there any special changes for that purpose? Note any such changes. Animals like house lizard, garden lizard, crocodile use their muscles for creeping. Similarly, they show adaptations in skin, soles of feet, body color, etc. For example, the house lizard and monitor lizards have clawed toes and thin soles, whereas snakes have a scaly skin. Dry skins, scale, present on the body of snake. Of food in animals. We can categorize animals as herbivores and carnivores. Herbivores means what? They only eat the grass. And carnivores means what? They eat the other animals. So zebra is a herbivorous animal. Watch the programs on TV.
channels like National Geographic Wild, Discovery, etc. to learn about the feeding habits of animals like frogs, snakes, birds, mosquitoes, butterflies, etc. Observations Complete the following chart from your own observations. This part will not come in the exam. Animals and how these animals use these adaptations. Shark teeth, lion and tiger use these adaptation for blending with the surroundings. We cannot easily spot colorful butterflies, lizards and grasshoppers. They get camouflaged amidst grasses. So grasshopper is a green color, lizard, match to that. Flowers, etc. So they are looking like plants to match with colorful flowers. Means surrounding. This is because their colors blend with those of their surroundings. Changes that take place in the various organs and life processes of organisms that enable them to live, feed, reproduce, to perpetuate themselves and protect themselves from their enemies in specific surroundings, depending upon the habitat and its geographical conditions, are called adaptations. Perpetuate means keep in existence or to preserve themselves. अपने आप को संभाल के रखना Always remember, This part will not come in exam. Darwin's theory of evolution. Great scientists. Charles Darwin, a biologist, studied numerous types of plants and animals and suggested that only those organisms are likely to survive which can best adapt themselves to a changing environment. This is called the theory of survival of the fittest. This is Darwin's first principle. If an organism is born with a new beneficial characteristic and is able to survive, this change is preserved in the next generation. This is Darwin's second principle and is called the theory of natural selection. Classification of living organisms. Let's recall. Why are living things classified? Hello. Which are the criteria used for classification of plants and animals? It is difficult to study and remember all the organisms in this diverse living world at the same time. Classification helps in this respect. Different scientists have used different criteria and independently classified plants and animals. A hierarchy is formed in the classification that starts with Kingdom Animalia or Kingdom Plantae. So this is the protista, fungi, plantae and animal. This is the classification of living things. So in that animal also belongs, plants also belongs and microorganism also. So this is a, one of the type of ERGL classification of organisms according to the similarity and differences. And differences. This is called the hierarchy of classification. Let's have a look at this table. The hierarchy is This is the classification of mango and human. Plantae, phylum, Anthophila, class, Dicotyledony, order, Sapindrons, family, Anacardiaceae, genus, Magnifera, species, Indica. So here the classification of mango plant. Mango plant is a planty, that's why the kingdom planty. Kingdom means what? Types. Planty. Phylum. Anthophyla. This is the anthophyla means what? Flowering plant. Then class. Dicotyledonous. Dicotyledon means what? 
द प्लांट हैज टू कॉटिलिडोन ऑर्डर सेपिंडेल्स फैमिली अनाकार्डियसी एंड जीनस मैग्नीपोरा स्पेसिज इंडिका बिकॉज इट इज फाउंड इन इंडिया दैट्स वाई इट इज अ इंडिका सो इन दिस वे दिस इज अ क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ मैंगो प्लांट ह्यूमन दिस इज अ एनिमल बैकबोन प्रेजेंट मैमल इज इट इज एयर हेयर प्रेजेंट ऑन द बॉडी ह्यूमन इज एयर सेपियन सो दिस इज अ क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ ह्यूमन मैन I know your nomenclature by Carl Linnaeus. Imagine the two naming systems with a name complete of the plant or animal called as a binomial. If you are talking about any one of them, how would you ensure that others know which one of them you are talking about without any confusion? You would tell the full name, that is, the first name and the last name. Plants and another animal. Genus and species. These are the two names called as binomial. So Carlinius identified this one. A scientific name has been assigned to each organism. It consists of two parts. The first part is genus. Genus. Species. Familiar. Familiar is the species. All identified organisms have been assigned a binomial name. guidelines of the international code of nomenclature all the organisms nomenclature means what name giving system all over the world you go and you say the binomial name of any plant any animal the people can understood easily okay so every organism has a two name one is the genus one is the species and these two name given by the carl linnaeus This is a scientist. He discovered this system. Of the species are so similar that irrespective of differences in color, height, habitats, and habits, they can reproduce among themselves and form new individuals like themselves. For example, all domestic cats in the world belong to the same species. The same is true in the case of animals like hen, cow, dog, etc., and plants like mango, wheat, maize, etc. Following are some examples of organisms from Kingdom Plantae and Animalia classified by the binomial method of nomenclature. Here are some living things and their scientific name. Dog, Canis lupus familiaris. This is a botanical, cow, the geological name of dog. Boss Taurus. Boss Taurus is the name of cow. Hibiscus. Hibiscus rosa sinensis. Rosa sinensis. This is the plant name. Jowar. Sargassum. Or sargum bicolor. Find out the scientific name. So this is a, these are the scientific name of plants and animals. Each and every plant animal different scientific name. April is observed as World Frog Protection Day. Killing or harming frogs is prohibited by the Wildlife Protection Act. So our this chapter is over here, and uh, this chapter will come in the exam. Coming unit test. I am the principal of. आमचा गर्ल स्कूल आय टॉट दिस लेसन आय होप यू अंडरस्टूड प्रॉपरली बेस्ट ऑफ लक हैव अ नाइस डे टू यू थैंक यू